hello friends this is Sopnil and welcome to learn SAP app app so in this session we are going to learn about how to create table control using wizard in SAP app app model pool programming so what is a table control a table control wizard in SAP app app is the control provided by the SAP due to this control we don't need to code separately for table control operation so table control generates automatically system generated code for insert delete next previous select and deselect all and some other operations okay so in this session we are going to create table control using wizard and we are going to fetch the data from employee table and we are going we will display in the table control okay so let's go to the app editor and we will see all this thing practically okay but wait if you are the first time on my channel then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification of upcoming videos okay so we will take the example of the last uh, last session only in the, in the last session i have shown you how to create a tab in the model build program okay if you miss that video then you can find the link is also given in the description so go and check it out so in this session we will add one more tab over here and in this tab we are going to add a table control okay so you will get the idea how to add the table control in model build programming so let's go to the app editor so we'll go to this relevant program okay so this is this is our program so we'll go to the object now uh, object list mm, first what we will do we will add one tab okay even though so we'll go to the screen see you can find here main screen just click on the layout okay so now we are going to add one more tab here Let's double click on this tab you can find the tab name here and add one more tab here just, just double click on here as you can see here tab title is 3 we are going to add one more tab so we will add 4 as over here just click on click now you can see your tab has created double click on this tab and now we have to give the name this tab so take the reference of all take the reference of earlier added tab so as yes, you can see here z tab 3 so we will add name as in z tab 4 4 give name as all details okay so now again here you can see the function code is z tab fc3 just copy this code and here we will give the so four okay that's four okay so check okay no subscription is assigned to that day okay so for each and every time we just need to add a subscreen area for pre level tab okay so we'll go to the subscreen let's copy the subscreen and we'll put here okay here yes, subscreen so in this subscreen we are going to add a table control and this is the subscreen area so here we are going to add a tab okay so here we are going to add a table control oh. Just copy this subscription name and go to our tab. Double click on it and give it here as a one zero four. Check if any other thing we miss or not. Okay, now click and activate okay so now we have added the tab to existing program okay so now we'll go to the main program mm, we'll make the, some changes in code as, as you can see here uh, in 
the form as you can see here constant declare as a one this is for the three tab we have to add for one more tab for like so you can value copy as of for okay okay check and activate okay now again go to the main screen the main screen you can see here module or uh, to tab set so this code is nothing for this code will trigger whenever you will press any tab on the screen okay so here as you can see there is the already existing code for the three tabs so we have to add a code for our new tab then copy this tab 4 3 tabs on screen is equal to 4 ok Now again go to the main. Now, now go to the go to the tab get module. Here also we need to add the same code for the here also we need to add the same code for the fourth one tab. So copy this code. Type for here as well as a for and activate so now here we just need to add a sub screen okay for the for the fourth one tab so just right click on the screen click on create and use the name as 0104 click ok okay and click you can select the sub screen give the title also all details okay okay so now we will see the another tab once in the sap so 38 as you can see here uh, we have added one tab uh, both tab here which is all detailed so in this tab we are going to add table control okay we are going to fetch the data from employee table and we will display the relevant data in this table control okay so let's go to the SAP again let's go to the web editor now we have created the sub screen just double click on the sub screen and go to the layout so we will put one box here Okay, so now here we are going to add the table control. Uh, okay, so now here we have to put the table control. Okay, but for the table control wizard, we just need to define an internal table, then a table. Okay, from which we are going to then a table with the relevant data. Okay, so let me first put this simply first activate this. Let's close this window. Now again go to the SAP and here in go to the form declaration form include and here I will define the internal table ATEMP EMP type standard table on CEMP data so GEMP data is nothing but the table from which we are going to fetch the data and will display on this table control AMP clearing the work area also check okay uh, okay sorry uh, type standard table on type standard table on see employee data 
check and activate okay so now we have defined an internal table and with the work area okay so now again we will go to the sub screen and in this sub screen we are going to add the table control okay so here is our sub screen so let's go to the sub screen on the layout okay so here we are going to put the table con here we are going to put the table control with the wizard click on the table control with wizard and drag and drop so it will open new wizard window just click on the press start just click on continue and then the table, table control then click on continue then it will then it will ask for the dictionary table or the internal table we will simply select the internal table and click here it emp then the internal table whatever we had defined right now table with the work area so we'll simply do as emp okay from what you program yes then click on the continue okay so here is the asking for the field whatever field you need from this table so simply select the field we are going to select the all the fields because there is only seven fields from the table going to select all the fields from the table and click on continue okay, so as you can see here uh, we have an option for output only or input control so we are going to so we are going to display table as a you know display mode only so we'll select the output only okay and this is the option for the line selection and just simply click on the continue okay say so scroll insert delete click on continue okay we'll give you the name and so form here we'll define as a pbo we will differentiate this with different different include so that it is easy to understand this include is for which code we will get form and here we will get type okay continue and complete okay so as you can see here email id name last name country city and mail id column has add in okay i simply close and active okay so now what is the next thing? next thing is that once uh, we we will add one more button in the screen so that whenever we click on the button so it will fetch the data from employee table okay so for that we are going in the main screen which is 100 100 so in this screen here we are going to add one more button so we'll put the button here and give the name as a gate detail in detail and do the function for the GT okay uh, and this is okay click and activate okay so now we have added a button in here then in order to fetch the data in the table control okay from the employee table bank so as you can see here uh, we have a user command 100 so just simply uncomment it and double click on this user command in order to add a code for PAI module and just click on the S okay so it will navigate you to the particular place so here we just need to add the logic for the pai module so we'll write uh, case statement case sy you call okay and here we will define the name of the button the function mode of the button okay okay so what here we have to do we just need to select the data from this table okay so select 
start from cmp data into table in the emp where imply id is up to 10 rows okay if size server is initial we are going to sort this table sort the amp by amp id Let's check and activate. Okay, so now what we have done, uh, we have just created the PAI module, and in this, we have written a code in, in order to fetch the data from employee table. Okay, so it will display the data in the table control. Okay, so check and activate the program. Okay, here is our sub screen main screen okay so here also we need to assign the name of the fourth sub screen so four four and here also For okay, no change and it's not defined. Oh, sorry, now we in the PB1 PA model we have added the subscreen part. Okay, in order to display the subscreen area in the fourth tab, okay, which we have added new. Okay, here and as you can see here and here okay so let's activate the whole the program okay and we will check the output now so let's uh, go to the SA38 okay so this is our program we'll click on simply execute we'll put the employee ID okay Okay, so and now as you can see here, uh, the, this fourth tab is this fourth tab has added. See, first and return and return communication. This is the address return has added, and as you can see here, table control has also added over here. Okay, but as of now, there is there is as of now we don't have any value over here. Okay, so for in order to fetch the data from employee table, we have added the get detail button. Okay, once we click on the get detail button, the, all the data will come from table in this stable control. Okay, so let's click on the get detail. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, we have a three data from this table. Okay, because as of now, we have only three record in the table. So all the data as you can see in this table control. Okay, first name, last name three entry email id email instagram id okay so, okay so here personal detail address detail communication detail, detail and in this all detail we have some data okay okay so this is the way you can add the table control in model pool programming and fetch the relevant data from the table okay so in this session uh, we have learned the two things right first of all how to add a new tab in the existing tab program and uh, even we have added the uh, one sub screen in the new tab and we have defined a table control okay so as if you like this video then press the like button below if you have any doubt then write me in the comment section below if you want to learn more about a app then visit to my website www.learningcpapapp.com the link is also given in the description and 
please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification about my next upcoming videos okay so friends bye signing out